When you log into Breezy, you can pick from a number of different layout options to set the initial structure for your page. Once you pick a layout, you can then adjust the column widths if you'd like by mousing over a column separator, then clicking and dragging your mouse. As you move your mouse around, you'll see dots that highlight different areas of the page. The dots are where we can start applying styles, and one of the first things you may want to do is add backgrounds so you can start to see the design of your site come to life. You can pick from our library of backgrounds, or you can upload your own. Through the style dots, you can also modify the design of your pages down to a very granular level. We'll come back to styling in a bit, but let's start adding some content first. All the content is organized and managed through apps, and each app has different types of content ranging from text to images, videos, social media feeds, contact forms, and several others. And we're always adding new apps to give more and more options. So you can go ahead and remove the apps you don't want, add whichever ones you'd like by dragging them in from the apps panel, and move them around to get them just the way you'd like on your page. Once you've added some apps, you can click on anything to start changing the content. For example, you can upload a logo or other images, you can change navigation links and text, and edit any other type of content that you have through the various apps. Everything is edited in place, so just click on the app you'd like to change the content on. You'll notice the WYSIWYG editor displays when you're editing text. This lets you change fonts, text size, colors, spacing, shadows, alignment, and apply links and other formatting. Whenever you'd like, you can go back to styling your content in different areas of the page using the style dots as well as the WYSIWYG editors. You can focus in on any area of the page to change the look and feel of the design. Everything from spacing to rounded corners, drop shadows, and text and image formatting can be done really easily, and you can see all the changes on the fly as you go. After the home page is done, you can then create additional pages if you'd like. When you create a new page, you can add a page title, customize the URL, and also add a meta description and keywords to help optimize your page. Next, you can choose which apps you'd like to copy over from the page that you were just on. Usually you'll keep the same header and footer apps, but you may want to add new content for the main body areas. It's important to note here that any apps you carry over to the new page are shared, so if you edit them on one page, it'll update the content on the other page as well. Whenever you're ready, make sure you activate your site before the trial period ends by entering your credit card information to start monthly billing. If you'd like to use your own domain for your site once you've activated your account, you can do this by clicking into your site profile. Make sure you read the setup instructions, which walk you through how to point your domain to our IP address. Once that's done, just enter your domain, select the redirect option if you'd like, and click Save. You can also change your password anytime by clicking User Info under Admin. Lastly, if you ever run into any problems or have any questions, feel free to live chat with us or click Need Help to learn more and submit a ticket if need be. Remember, you can now log in any time to make updates, change content, or modify styles on your website. Thanks again for using Breezy.